Our patron's first impression is favorable. Now, everything depends upon keeping him in that happy state until he is seated. That ticket changes hands. It goes from cashier to patron, from patron to ticket taker. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Every staff member is a link in an unbroken chain of hospitality from cash desk to door to down the pillow. But let's link up again with our diplomatic ticket taker. Ah, oh, here we are. No, it's that terrible person I saw in the other theater. Surely this is not a Hoyt's house? Of course not. This ticket taker doesn't make a doormat out of patrons. Each one is politely handled. Each is an individual problem. Yet to each is applied a well-tried formula. That interested approach. And I like that smile. The sort of smile that spells service. And I like that vital thank you. Notice the accuracy and speed that goes into the checking of every ticket and how each ticket goes straight into that box. No lounging or gossiping with favorite patrons or pals. And a ticket taker doesn't leave the door. The manager is signaled if required. The door is one spot never under any circumstances to be left unguarded. Watch how the speed and flow of patrons into the theater is regulated. Ah, hold up. Let's slip inside and see why. The usherettes are finding it's the pace that kills. An usherette can go so fast and no faster. And surely she should never run. She should walk at all times, suiting her speed to the patron. She may walk a little faster and try to speed him up, gradually increasing her own speed. This lass looks brighter than the one who showed me into the wrong seats last night. There's nothing upsets me more. Every Hoyt Sacheret should learn accuracy via the box plan. The first thing to do is to get to know your box plan. Every good usherette knows the box plan, knows every seat, learns every aisle lettering, knows the number and location of each exit, knows the location of each fire extinguisher and how to use it. The location of fire hoses. Where the barrier ropes separate each price section. The box plan too shows how to close up rows to create doubles where only singles were before. And this is what is meant by dressing the house. Spreading patrons over the greatest possible area. Yes, the careless usherette usually takes the line of least resistance. Seating patrons nearest the aisle. Result? A badly dressed house. And she's always one jump ahead of those section jumpers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your Hoyt's Theatre. Just another reason why business and pleasure don't mix. Hey, what's happening? You're blinding us. Someone misusing a torch. Remember, a torch should never be used as a seat indicator. Merely indicate the entrance to a row. As a patron, I much prefer the torch beam kept down and away from my eyes. The torch is the most important part of every usherette's equipment. Keep it properly serviced with globes and batteries. Don't leave it where it can be stolen. See that it is properly stored. Debit? What's all this? Not very nice, is it? Smoking? <laughs> well, I ask you. Jewelry. Leave that to the vamps on the screen. And there's such a thing as being too familiar on the job. How are you good? Good, old man. Doesn't sound so good, oh, though. Mr. or Miss gives dignity to your job. Clicking fingers or hissing to attract attention distracts patrons and disturbs their enjoyment. Don't settle arguments yourself. When arguments develop, call the manager. No, we haven't got any tickets. Well, they seem to be there. Would you stand up in the aisle? No, certainly not. We've been here for about ten minutes already. It's perfectly ridiculous, isn't it? I'm very sorry, madam. If you stand up, I'll take you to see the manager. That little phrase will save a lot of trouble for the manager and wear and tear on everybody's nerves. Always report to your manager any unusual mishap, disturbance, or accident. And it goes without saying that friendly staff courtesy at a moment like this 
is doubly appreciated and long remembered by the patron in distress. But stop, Mr. Commissioner. Let's have a look at you. That's the way to wear a uniform, an example to the rest of the staff. Uniform cleaned and pressed, well groomed with regulation haircut, and all the trimmings. Out front, he's the focal point for questions any of you may be asked. When the program starts, when it ends, who are the stars, what are the prices? He represents in his uniform the management and the company. This film is not intended to teach experienced and highly efficient staffs but it is intended to point out the need for maintaining a high degree of personalised service in every Hoyt's theatre from Perth to Brisbane. In the words of our managing director, Mr Ernest Turnbull, modern theatres everywhere, whether in America, England or Australia, must have courteous and efficient staff service at all times. Just one person slacking will let down the good work and good name of the entire staff and endanger the reputation of this, the greatest circuit of theatres in the Southern Hemisphere. Let us all remember that these people are our guests. They're outside now, but once they cross the threshold, their enjoyment rests in your hands. They are guests in your house and our house. Let's turn our patrons' leisure into real pleasure and make Hoyt's the place to go always. <laughs>